Example six is our last application problem involving an exponential that we need to solve. And this is a problem that comes honestly straight from my math lab. And so this equation here requires a lot of steps, but if you just take it step by step and follow your rules, uh, it's really not too bad. So if a drug is injected into the bloodstream, the percent of maximum dosage that is present at time T is given by Y equals where time is in hours. And we are between zero and 10 hours. And how many hours will the percent reach 65%? We're gonna round to the nearest whole number as needed. So this right here is my Y. And I am gonna use that as 65%. A lot of times when we get percentages, we move that decimal over but because I have a 100 here, that means this is 100%. So we're going to keep that as 65. So I'm going to rewrite this as 65 equals. Okay. So let's go through our steps. <clears throat> isolate, rewrite, solve. So the first thing you need to do is isolate the exponential. And my exponential is that part right there. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of this 100. And you can do it one of two ways. You can use the distributive property and do 100 times 1 to get 100 and then 100 times the negative e to get negative 100 e. But distributive property is just multiplying. So the opposite of multiplying is to divide. So instead of distributing that in, I'm going to divide that 100 over. When I divide by 100, that just moves the decimal two times. And so now I get that 0.65. Okay, because I'm losing that 100, I lose that first set of parentheses. And I am going to go ahead and distribute here. So I'm going to do negative 0.35 times 10. And that's going to give me negative 3.5. And, and negative uh, 0.35 times a negative t is a positive 0.35. T. Okay, I'm still on step one. I'm still needing to isolate. I still haven't isolated this exponential here. So next what I need to do is subtract this one over. Those will cancel. And that's going to give me a negative 0.35 equals negative E Okay, I still have not isolated because when I circled this, my isolation involves a positive exponent. This is a negative exponent. So I either need to multiply or divide both sides by negative one. So negative over negative cancels, negative over negative cancels. We're left with now positive 0.35 equals e to the negative 3.5 plus 0.35t. Okay, I know this seems like a lot of steps, so we're just doing normal algebra solving equations here, right? So I have finally isolated my exponential, and so now we can rewrite it. An exponential with the base of, or sorry, yeah, an exponential with the base of e rewrote will become a natural log. When I go base, to the other side of the equals, we get natural log of 0.35, and that's going to equal what's left over. It equals this exponent. So minus 3.5 plus 0.35 t. Once we rewrite, now I need to solve my equation here. This is a two-step equation. First thing I'm going to do is add this constant over. The 
these can't combine, so this is just simply the natural log of 0.35 plus 3.5 equals 0.35 t. And now my last step to get t by itself is to divide that number over. So I've got t equals the natural log of 0.35 plus 3.5 all over 0.35. Now, because I have multiple things on the top, I need to use my N over D button here. So I'm gonna you go alpha Y equals for my fraction key. And then in the top, we have the natural log a 0.35, close that, plus 3.5, and then the bottom we're dividing by 0.35. And so rounding to the nearest whole number, that is very, very close to seven. So in about seven hours. Okay, watch that video again, or have this video pulled up while you solve this problem because you are going to have an equation very similar to that in your homework.